Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, we can avoid some showers this morning. We'd be doing great. Um, we've been getting a little bit this morning. As you can see, the asphalt's a little wet, but uh, we're going to see if we can get around this coach before the next storm rolls in. So anyways, um, as you can see behind me, uh, we've got a 2023 Newmar King Air. This is a new floor plan for 2023. It's called the 4596 floor plan. 4596, uh, Newmar's integrated the bath and a half floor plan with a walk-in pantry, which is really cool. So when we go inside, we'll take, get a chance to see that here in just a little bit. But to start out with, um, we'll go around the outside here and kind of go through some of the compartments. Um, very stunning exterior. This is the standard graphics is called the Lagoon graphics. Um, and um, why don't we get started on this way as you come around this way. Um, if you want to get a shot at the entrance of this door. So something new that, that King Air has been doing. You've got the um, embossed kind of decor. This looks very sharp, very nice finish there on the in enclosure of the entrance door. You'll notice on the handrail too as it enters into the door. Very sharp, very stunning look as you enter the, your coach. Um, you'll notice down below here we've got the steps out. These are hydraulic steps and those will deploy back in underneath the steps here. Um, there is a step cover that comes out and raises up. And then you also have a screen door here. Um, at the entrance here you have the keyless entry which you can program, you set your own codes to open and close to unlock and lock the um, entrance door as well as your compartment doors. And for security purposes you do have a camera here um, as well as cameras around the coach. So you've got them on the side view mirrors, we've got, them, we've got the 360 camera view this also has, so some, this has lots of uh, safety features there with the, <coughs> with the um, cameras around the coach. Soft close and open on your compartment doors. Um, if you notice on the, the lining inside here, so it's very durable marine grade material that Numar is putting into all your compartments on the King Air product. And these are push button, open and close compartment doors. And you'll notice in this first one, we've got the select, the optional slide tray. So this comes out on both sides. I won't go all the way out, but you get the idea there. And then you have the headliner shelf right above it for additional storage. And again, these are soft closed doors. Open this next compartment here. <clears throat> and in this one, we got another tray. Um, <clears throat> this particular unit does have Starlink installed on it. So it has an in-motion Starlink that comes with this coach. That's something we did as a dealership aftermarket. Um, and Starlink's becoming more and more dominant in the RV world. Start, we're starting to install them more and more on different RVs. We did have that done on this particular King Air. Right above this compartment door, we've got the outside entertainment. We've got a 43-inch LED smart TV with Bose soundbar. You can Bluetooth to the Bose if you want to hear your, listen to your own tunes outside, you can. Um, and this will pull out, tilt, and um, to get the glare off of it, you can actually pull it out and tilt it. On the top of the coach, you'll notice I've got the LED lights on, and in my pocket I've got the remote. So this does have the Girard Nova awnings. I'm going to go ahead and bring these out. And you notice that all three, the entrance awning, the second awning here, and the third, these cover the whole length of the bus. As those are coming out, you'll notice the center bar in the awning gives it a pitch. So if you're getting, you know, if you're getting the sun's coming down in the evening or in the morning, sunrise, 
when it will get a little bit better shade underneath here, that pitch will definitely help. Uh, you'll notice also you've got window awnings. These are Girard window awnings. You got one over this bay window here, and you got another window awning over the the bedroom king size bed in the rear. All right, in this bay here, we've got pull-out refrigerator freezer combo. So this can be set for a refrigerator or a freezer. If you notice back behind the fridge freezer combo, <clears throat> this has the hydronic heat, the Oasis hydronic heating system. So Oasis is a system that New Newmar has been using for a long time. I want to say it goes back to 2007 when they switched over to the Oasis brand, but that gives you continuous hot water. It's a diesel burner. Plus it has two electric elements. If you're plugged into 30 or 50 amps, you can use your electric elements to heat the hot water and to heat the coach. You'll notice also in here, central vacuum system. So inside the coach, there is central vac. This is where you change your filter out and you can hook up to it if you want to clean the compartments up down below. <clears throat> You'll notice the, uh, I got a chrome finish. It's a Summit product, but that, that's standard on all King Airs. In this bay here, we've got some shelving so behind that wall, you've got 105 gallons of fresh water. Instead of having just the side of a holding tank, they'll actually use, make some use of it. A place to put your tools, extra items outside. And this com particular compartment here, so this has, this has two 1,250 amp hours. So you have 2,500 amp hours of lithium, pa lithium batteries. I have to set this down. So if I push this, pull at the same time, get a shot of that. So all the way across, each one of these battery packs is 1,250 amp hours, and they go all the way across the coach. Each battery pack weighs 600 pounds. You'll notice you've got two inverters. So each one of those inverters is dedicated to a single air conditioner. So you do have um, your front air conditioner is wired to inverter number one. And then your second inverter is wired to the middle air conditioner. When you're traveling in these coaches, if you want is with inverters one and two on, you can actually run two air conditioners. Getting some hotter climates is very handy. You'll notice this little sensor here. You'll have these on the front and the sides. Um, you'll notice all the way on the back here. So this, the overall length of this coach is 44 feet, 11 inches. So blind spot, blind spot monitoring in your side view mirrors is available. It comes with the King Airs. So if you've got vehicles left and right of you when you're traveling, um, it will warn you when there are vehicles on both the driver's side and passenger side of the coach. <clears throat> Um, axles, so I didn't talk about it, but you do have an independent front axle, it's 20,000 pound rating, then your drive axle has a 20,000 pound rating as well, with a 14,000 pound uh, tag axle. This tag will turn, um, this is a Spartan K3 chassis, uh, I, I believe the rating, they, they rate it up to about an 18 degree wheel turn. But with the size of these wheels and the 365 steer tires and the 315 drive axle and tag tires may, may turn that back to maybe about a 12 degree wheel turn um, at, in a really sharp turning radius. Uh, we've got some nice LED docking lights here. Uh, you'll notice I got the slides in. So the slides are flush, they don't overlap. Uh, this particular sli slide is cogwheel slide. Um, the full wall slide and the kitchen dinette or the kitchen slide there is going to be a hydraulic slide. We go in in a little bit, you'll see how there's still room to navigate down the middle of the coach, and then we'll run the slides out. <clears throat> in this tank, we got the diesel exhaust fluid reservoir. That is a 15 gallon reservoir. Um, you also have, I didn't talk about the fuel capacity. 
but the fuel on this coach, because they've had they've gone to these heavier lithium batteries, there's a weight weight issue on that. So they have got they've gone from a 200 gallon fuel tank to now a 160 gallon fuel tank. All right, in this bay, you've got your chassis batteries, um, your air dryer, your full, your, it's gonna be located here. And then you do have an air assist to lift the rear tailgate. So if you get a shot of that tailgate on the back, I'm gonna open this up here and this will come up, whoop. May not have enough air built up. Oh, there it goes, okay compressor just kicked on. There's an air compressor if you get a shot here, Jody. So when you have low air, this little auxiliary air will build up some air pressure. So that way you can actually operate the rear tailgate on this. So, um, But having the side radiator gives you nice access to your belts, hoses, um, the Oasis reservoir, your engine fill reservoir, the air dry, um, air filter is easy to get to. So everything's really nice and easy to get to. Um, and there's the big 605 horsepower, 1,950 pound foot of torque, 20,000 pound tow rating. Comes with an auxiliary air system here. If you've got an air system on your trailer or you have a, a vehicle that has requires air, air supply for the tow vehicle, it already comes equipped with that. And then on the right hand side here, this Voyager, if you have a camera on a trailer or inside a trailer, you can hook to that and toggle between the truck camera or the, the coach camera and the trailer camera. All right, making our way around to the driver's side. So, <clears throat> so you got the side radiator. You got a, this is the fill, so your 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid. You can fill from the other side, but a lot of times when you pull into your fuel stops, it's on the driver's side. This way you can fill from the side and continue on your way. Um, love the way they integrate the paint in the actual um, radiator cover. Up above, you'll notice a door. So this has an exit door in the bathroom and there's a ladder that deploys out of that. So in emergency situations, you can easily get out. Also, it's pretty handy too. If you've, if somebody's on the inside and you're loading your bathroom, um, you can have this door open and just hand things in through the door here. So it makes it easier for loading as well. <clears throat> a little extra storage here to put your hoses, gloves, cleaning supplies, anything maybe related to the, um, the water station. So the water station's here. And then of course, well, this, this, is, the, this is the other side of those two lithium. So you get the lithium modules here. Okay, and the water station here, you can see it has a winterization valve. Um, it does have, these come with a macerator pump. And uh, on a King Air, you're gonna have a water manifold, a mana block system here. So for all your hot, cold water lines throughout the coach, if you ever have a system that should give you any kind of trouble, you can turn that system off and continue on your way and get to somewhere where you maybe make necessary repairs if needed. Also, your gate valves are electric. Um, this is the RV SantaCon that turns this, the macerator on, so all your wastewater goes through. Uh, it grinds up your waste and will literally pump your wastewater out. The whole house, whole, whole house water filtration systems here. Here's your city water hookups, black tank rinse, low point drains. And your outside showers here and then on the um, 
On this monitor, you can see it gives you a reading for your fresh water, black water, gray water. Um, I might be able to get that brighter. I, bet, I think that's as bright as I can get it. Um, there's a tilt feature on the bottom left. So if you, uh, if you are, um, especially if you're dumping your, dumping your tanks using the gravity dump, you can tilt the coach. It'll add air to the passenger side airbag and the whole coach will literally tilt. So now your water flow is gonna be coming, coming out on the driver's side. Um, and then also you can turn your generator on and off from this Silverleaf monitor here. Got some lights features, generator controls, all integrated into the Silverleaf, little small Silverleaf system here for the water station. Um, and then, your, so this is your city water. So you walk it out, hook it up to your city feed going into the coach. Um, and then these are, these are what uh, Newmark calls flap seals. So just pop this in place. Now you can close your door. Makes life a lot easier when you're just running hoses out. Pop it through the flap sill, close the door. Just a clean and simple design. It makes it makes use for the with the uh, new Mars. Very simple. Okay, 50 amps, 50 feet. A couple flap sills. This has an extra plug here. It's a 30 amp plug. If you have a trailer or if somebody wants to tap into your, your power on the coach, you do have enough power off of, this has a 12,500 kilowatt generator. Plenty of power to run everything on this coach, plus 30 amps for an additional trailer if need be. Um, you got the flap seals down below here to run the power cords out and keep the door closed. You notice the transfer switch is located in here. Cable. That's a cable feed going into the coach. If you go to a campground and they have park cable, you can tap right into their systems as well. This will be the opposite side of the pass-through storage I showed you earlier. Again, these both trays come out. electronically all right and in this bay you've got a pressure washer you got to keep the coach nice and shiny any all your toys after a long road trip you've got a pressure washer to clean everything up or if you have other vehicles you want to keep clean it's just a nice addition that the king air comes with an additional pressure washer All right, so I mentioned to you the 160 gallons of fuel. So these do fill on both sides of the coach. Um, one thing too that Newmar does well, so back behind here, you've got a, there's a steel plate that keeps the, the fuel lines protected. You don't ever wanna get into a situation where you might have a blowout, but things happen. If something were to ever happen, your fuel lines are all protected, so. That's something to point out. That's something Newmar does on all of their diesel pushers. <clears throat> uh, stain, stainless steel chrome tips is new for 2023. You'll have that on all the exhaust tips. In this bay here, so it's a Spartan chassis. A lot of your Spartan fuses, wiring harnesses are, in, are gonna be in this compartment here. And then it's also where I can run the generator out. So I'm going to come out, extend this here. So if you come around this way, you can get a good look at that 12.5, 12,500 kilowatt quiet diesel generator. Your hidden air horns, um, your fuel filter. Your uh, oil filter is for the generators easy to get to. Windshield wiper fluids easy to get to. You need to change the headlight. The headlight bulbs out. Speaking of that, the headlight bulbs in 2023 have been changed to the brand Silver Star. 
So Silver Star is a, a new headlamp that Newmar's using. It makes it much brighter in the, at nighttime when you're doing night driving in these much better headlines. <clears throat> All right, let's come back in with this. Fresco is the window company that Newmar uses. It's a nice bonded window. It's kind of an automotive installed, uh, installed windshield windshield here and then your side windows um, there's no bulb gasket going around the sides of these windshields they could expand and cause air leaks or anything like that so it makes it very quiet going down the road um, i invite you to come out and drive a king air or any of our other new mars that we stock and they're very quiet you'll notice in the front here we've got the mobile eye so this has collision mitigation, adaptive cruise, lane assist. Um, that's all integrated through that mobile eye. And as well as what I mentioned earlier, the blind spot. Um, there's vehicles, driver's side, passenger side of the vehicle, it'll display in the little triangle in the mirror when there's vehicles next to you. All right, let's go on inside. And as you're coming inside, um, just notice the, the beautiful embossed handrail, the dash has this leather stitch dash. I mean, it's something you only get in a King Air. It's really a, just a luxury, very nice plus finish. And then it keeps going into the seats. You got these embossed leather seats. These are Villa furniture, very sharp. Uh, I've got the slides in right now. I'm just going to walk towards the back and just show you how simple it is to get it's a little tight but you can still get back so we can get all the way back to the refrigerator if i want to get grab a grab a drink or grab a sandwich or something while i'm on the road if i need to access the half bath i can still easily get to the half bath actually this is a walk-in pantry here so we'll get to see that here in just a little bit I'm gonna go. Ahead, I'm gonna head back up front, and we're gonna run these slides out. <clears throat> um, get that one out here in just a bit. So let's come up front. So as we're going up front, you'll notice this. The interior of this is very stunning. This has a mink rift uh, cabinetry, and it has the Naples decor. Kind of a beach feel to it and then with the uh, left all the window shades up has tons of windows kind of like a almost like a bus style prevo bus window look in this all right let's come up front and i'll get the slides out all right so as this is going out just to go over a few features here um the uh, overall height, the right height on this coach is going to be 13 feet, 4 inches. Uh, the wheelbase on it is 292 inches plus the tag. You also have um, 54,000 gross vehicle weight. And then the cargo carrying capacity of this exact coach, the sticker shows 3,745 pounds. So you can still add quite a bit of gear on this before you're maxing out the gross vehicle weight rating. Okay, and then these, this comes equipped with the theater seating. Uh, the theater seating are super comfortable. You could take a nap in these. Um, they have a massage feature, they heat, and then they'll recline. You just push button, electronic. Theater seats, I mean, they're super comfortable. And then across from the theater seats, We've got the fold and tumble. This will fold out to tri-fold um, sofa for additional sleeping. So it has a king size bed, king size bed in the back. If you have a couple of guests with you, two guests could sleep here easily. Um, another feature, I'll switch places with you. Um, if you're sitting, well, actually anywhere in the anywhere in the galley area, 
um, you'll see these little touch pads. Just tap on them, it wakes them up. Um, I'll use this one. So if I'm, if I'm sitting here, there's a mode. If I go in here and I go to my home screen, there's a, if I go into systems, there's a mode called theater mode. It's pretty cool. So if I tap this here, you'll notice my TV starts coming up, my lights dim, and then the little accent lights come on immediately. Really cool feature, you know, it's something they put in these King Airs. Um, you know, have a movie night with the family. This is awesome. Then you got, if you notice the TV, right above the TV, you've got that Bose 900 series sound bar. It has a great sound system. Subwoofer is hidden back behind the cabinetry. Uh, you've got that 55 inch LED smart TV. Pretty awesome. I mean, it's just, it's like you're in a theater here. Let me put these back up. Let's get this back to normal. All right, so I'm going to go back into my shades. Raise these up. Lighting. Let's bring all my lights back on. So also in these, um, in these panels, you've got lighting control, shade, so if I go to lights, there's your ceiling, dining, dinette lights, accent lights, all accent lights. You can dim each, each section too. If I want to dim the ceiling lights, I can just drag this down to wherever I want to set it at. Hit the home screen, brings me back to the, I can do shades, shade controls. Uh, I have access to the fans. <clears throat> um, you can turn the rain sensor on and off for your fan controls kitchen, master bathroom, stool room, everything's nicely labeled for you. Monitor panel that shows you, okay, my house batteries, my chassis batteries. I mean, as an owner, you're sitting right here. You can keep an eye on, on uh, the holding tanks and see where those are sitting at. Your, your battery usage, uh, how much power each leg is pulling. So really a nice feature for the, for the owner. Um, then also your window awnings are gonna be controlled in here as well. And then the last one is your dis display. You can turn that all the way down, or you can tap on it to wake it back up. There it goes. Pretty nice little new si uh, system with these touchscreen panels. Um, and you have one just right next to the theater seats. There's one here at the entrance door. You'll notice here, and we've got them in the kitchen. They're all around the coach here. Um, heated tile floor. There's electric heat strips that run back and forth all the way back to the master bathroom. Um, with the King Air, you're gonna get quartz countertops. And these, are, these are not light. This could uh, do some damage to somebody if you were, weren't careful, but these are um, all quartz. So you've got Wolf induction cooktop. And then let me get some, get these in here. I don't want to my finger. Let me turn some lighting on in here. All right, so let's do this. Ceiling light on, kitchen lights on, red lights. Make sure everything's on there. Okay, so you've got some really nice accent lighting down below here, and you got some really nice indirect lighting above the kitchen countertops. Um, up above here, you do have a Viking convection microwave oven. And in this new floor plan, you have, you can do some different options here. As you can see, this one came with the optional Wolf coffee maker. And then down below here, we've got a wine cooler. You can do some other packages. You, there's the stemware up above here. And then across on this side, we've got the Viking residential refrigerator. 20 cubic feet. Ice makers down below. And then we talked about 
the walk-in pantry. Let me get some lights on here first. Okay. So I'm, it's not enough room in here for both Jody and I to, to stand, but I'll, I'll, the first thing I'll do is just open a few things up so you can see the storage it has. And then these slide back. And you do have some overhead storage. So you do have some nice storage overhead. Close these back. So you do have also additional storage here. Get a shot of that. There's some great stuff. All your appliances or any pantry items, this is great use of space with this walk in pantry. And then, of course, these open up as well. You've got the shelves are adjustable as well, too. And as I close these cabinet doors, you notice they are soft close, except for that one. <laughs> I noticed that one didn't want it soft close for me. And then it has this nice with this frost glass to close that off. And I'm going to come out with the bedroom slide here. As it's coming out, we get some lights on here. Okay. So we got a king size bed. Um, on both sides of the bed, you'll notice there's wireless charge stations. Almost out there. And then you do have the shades in here are going to be a little different. So I was operating, you saw the day and the night shades in the in the living room galley area. So if, let me go back in here and we'll show you the shades in the bedroom here. Find it here. All right, see there's a little bit different, the silhouette shades. Um, do you have a night shade back behind there as well? All there. there it goes. So you've got some nice bay windows in the bedroom as well. Um, in 2023, Numar was still doing sleep number, which this, is, this does have a sleep number mattress. And then underneath here, we've got a couple extra folding chairs, plus two leaves, which will, that, that's gonna join the dinette area. I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, I apologize. But so the dinette, when you order the 4596 floor plan, you'll notice how this booth is a little bit longer than this booth. Well, that's, they have to do that the way this floor plan set up. So when the slides come together, you notice when I navigated through the middle of the coach earlier, um, this one, this one has to be a little bit less so it doesn't intrude on um, the galley area here. But this pulls out, and then there's a leg that's held by a magnet right here that flips down. So you've got those two leaves plus those two folding chairs to have some additional, additional seating. Get that one all the way flush there. And you have some storage underneath underneath each booth. And then talked about that. May have missed a few of these cabinets. Um, push to release on your pull-out drawers. And you got some storage. Oh, this is a pull out here. This has these little felt inserts here. So these heavy quartz covers, nice place to store them down below here. In fact, if you want to get a shot of that sink, that's a nice big stainless steel sink. Also something else I didn't point out, but I'm just, you do have on the far right, you'll see a little chrome piece over there. So it, if you push on it, it'll pop up and there's a little electrical outlet. Same thing on that side. And these open up here. 
You got a couple of electrical plugs here as well. You'll notice up above here, you've got the motion sensor. So you can disable and enable the motion sensor. Somebody gets up at night and walks, walks uh, into the living room, walks through it, the motion sensors are on, the accent lights will kick on on the floor. All right, and you got here, we talked about the central vac. This opens up here, you push your hose attachments. We'll go here for cleaning up. And then we got the half bath. Get some lights on here again. All right, I get out of the way. Well, I'm gonna open this first. All right, so you'll notice the breaker box. Both of those electrical boxes that say danger on it, the red, those are your inverter boxes, inverter one and inverter two. Just shows you what's wired to each inverter. Plus the house breakers are on the right. All your fuses are in, everything's up high, out of reach for children, easy to get to even when your slides are in and nicely labeled. And then you'll have some good storage in the bathroom and some countertop space as well. There's also a medicine cabinet where you'll see that lit mirror. And of course the pocket door will close off the bedroom and the rest of the coach. Beautiful doors. Again, Mink Rift cabinetry is the name of this. Mink Rift oak, hardwood cabinetry, Naples decor. In case you're wondering, we're kind of going back to reference the name of the, this package in here. Okay, and then um, you got an optional fireplace. Um, in the in the bedroom. Also, let me get this on. Bedroom lighting. I want to turn on all the courtesy and accent lights. Mainly because what's cool is how it lights up all your drawers. These are all soft closed drawers. And then you do have additional drawers on both sides of the fireplace. Some things you can't see. Um, so the heated tile floor, it's also heated where I'm standing. So for winter use, you've got the heated tile floor, you have the fireplace, um, you actually have heat pumps in your roof air conditioning system. And plus the traditional furnace which runs off of the Oasis hydronic heat system. Um, switch places with you, Jody. So on this wall in the bedroom, you'll notice well, the slide controls here, the lighting controls are here, but this is new in 23. They went to the larger 10 inch silver leaf monitor. Um, and the top left here is a dimmer. So I can actually turn that all the way off if I choose. Just tap on it, it turns it back on, but everything's nicely and easy to read. You can check on your house and chassis batteries through this. So it's a little redundant, but um, you can actually, you've got these, I was showing you earlier how you've got, uh, you can check on your alternating current power, house and chassis batteries and water levels in the, these monitor panels throughout the coach where they're also in, integrated in the silver leaf. Um, you've got camera controls you can toggle through the different cameras around the coach. A nice security system there. Light controls. So you got light controls here, light controls here. And then your shades and TV. You can actually raise and lower the TV from the silver leaf, plus all your shades throughout the coach. Um, vent fans, awning controls. You can lock, uh, where's that at? Lock, you can lock all the doors. So you can lock the entry door, 
and your cargo doors. Here's your heat controls for the front, the rear, and the, and the mid of the coach. And then there's some different modes that you can access. Active camping, outdoor unplugged, plugged in, depending on kind of like the energy management system for the coach in the Silverleaf. Batteries, climate control. In the climate control is where you can control your Oasis hydronic heat system. Turn the electric element one, electric element two on and off, plus the burner. Here's your water levels, plus a water pump, water pump, pamp, is that a word? <laughs> Auto fill, and then generator controls, direct current and alternating current. So everything is in one location with Silverleaf. And you, you have a panel in the bedroom here and you have a panel up all the way in the front. <clears throat> and if you're laying in bed, you have the panels both on the right and the left side of the beds. And these are the, again, the panels where you can operate lights, and water pump and shades, TV controls, things like that. Um, new for 2023 in the 4596, um, they had to design a different, a, a new shower, but this is actually very nice. Let me unlock it first before I go open it. So I'm gonna set this down and step in here just to show you how much room. I'm six foot two and I've got plenty of room. You got the cathedral ceiling in the master bathroom. You got the water miser controls. It's gonna be here. That's this little operation. So you, you have 105 gallons of fresh water. If you do dry camp, you can use the water miser to, to control the water while it's heating up and you're not wasting water. The little teak seat's a nice addition this one has. The shampoo holder, condition holder, body wash holder, handheld. And then over on this side, we've got the lit cabinetry here. This does have direct TV satellite system um, and you notice this it's got an A and a B switch so that tells me this has an in motion satellite as well so we talked about um, the Starlink it has Starlink it has uh, Wi-Fi I mean this thing has it all <laughs> pretty much and then you got some full extension drawers down below And then we get some lights on in here. Okay. So two sinks and one big, one bit open carafe there. And down below, some full extension drawer glides, some nice storage underneath the sink. And again, you have Additional full extension drawer glides there. Hanging closet. And then there's a safe in there as well. And behind the mirrors here, you've got, um, let me open these up here. So you notice this is labeled lighting control so behind that panel is going to be a lot of the wiring for the multiplex light system throughout the coach but you'll notice there's a plug inside here so if you need to keep uh, i don't know your razors or curling irons anything's charged electric toothbrushes things like that and keep them hidden and plugged in and charged and we talked about the escape door so this egg this will open up up so this has a magnetic panel it pops off here there's a deployable ladder so you can see it's a telescoping ladder it just folds down and out if you ever need to get out in an emergency situation you have that but also like I mentioned if if you're loading this bathroom or you're loading the bedroom you don't you, somebody can hand things through the doorway here 
That's kind of handy as well. Beautiful tile floor. Kind of changes it up from the from the contrasting from the bedroom tile floor to the bathroom tile floor. And then in this cabinetry here, we've got the Whirlpool. So they have changed from Bosch to Whirlpool in 2023. Um, and switched to the 220 volt Whirlpool stackable washer and dryer. And you do have a little drawer that pulls out right below as well. Okay. Just checking a few things. Um, oh, I didn't mention to this earlier when we were in the back. Um, just something I've never pointed out, but people ask this question a lot. Um, when you have the reverse on, does it have a backup alarm? Yes, it does. So it does have a backup alarm um, when you're backing up. So just something to point out there. <clears throat> okay, let's check out the uh, cockpit area here. So first thing I'm gonna do here is start it up. Um, it does have a proximity start stop. So it's got a proximity remote control um, new for 2023, uh, you've got a new dash. Look, the valid dash is, um, has changed from 2022 to the 2023 screen. And I'm gonna, is, this is electronic steering wheel. So I'm going to, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna need power to it at the moment. So the steering wheel controls, um, having a little issues with that right now. Some, probably a few has come off. So. On the left side of the steering wheel, we've got a tilt, and you can actually telescope it as well. The buttons aren't working at the moment. On the right side here, you've got a pedal control, and then they've integrated the um, steering effort is gonna be right here. So you can go from a low one up to a high six on the actual dash cluster, um, and adjust your comfort drive. You've got these nice big large monitors on the right hand side here for your backup camera, your stereo system, I and mean, if you're in the radio, it's really easy to, to navigate through it. These are all your preset buttons here. Uh, AM, FM, it's also Bluetooth, navigation. <clears throat> and then in the camera view, um, you can notice on the right-hand side here, the 360 camera view. Plus, I'm viewing the rear of the uh, rear of the coach, or I can change that view and toggle to some different camera angles. Or just if I want to just view the front. All right, that's at the entrance door. That's at the side. Or just keep it keep it on that big, uh, larger rear rear screen camera view. These are some shade controls, entrance lock, generator on off switch. Um, there's a courtesy toggle, that's a, a, a toggle switch. So if you just tap that one time, that lights up all your courtesy lights throughout the coach. Docking lights, overhead fan controls. This is a large windshield. So when you got the defrost on here, um, traveling in, the, in humid climates or in colder temperatures, um, you've got the defrost, but you also have some overhead fans to help get the fog off the window. Um, you do have a heated steering wheel. That's something else that's new. Uh, radio controls at your fingertips on the steering wheel. Um, you can toggle through the different features on the dash cluster using this right hand panel, home screen, back, back button, and then the arrows toggling up and down and you can go into an actual system. Um, it's not working at the moment, but come back to some other videos I've done, and I've, I believe I've displayed that on some different ones, um, or I'm happy to uh, go over that with you to get the get that figured out. Um, let me get up out of the way. So on the left-hand side, we've got a couple of cup holders here. You've got your hydraulics. So this is in in the valid dash. 
it has air leveling so it's got a valid air leveling system and then if you want to use the jacks you can use the hwh leveling system here um, this is the allison transmission this comes equipped with the allison 4000 series transmission you've got a three stage engine brake high medium low this turns it off and on and then this is your ta your tag dump switch down below here you'll notice some memory settings so a driver one and then a driver two you can set driver three as like an exit where the steering wheel goes forward the seat goes back and then it has the kurt spectrum integrated brake controller system there power window turn that off and then over here on the passenger side um, you'll notice you do have a little tablet holder here so if the passenger wants to have a, their own little tablet and watch a watch a, some programs on there they can and then they also have the auxiliary screen on the right side that's a touch screen you can help navigate change the radio stations have it on the camera views um, and you'll notice over on the armrest of the coach there's a little charge pad there you can put your phone to charge your phone there's also some heat and air conditioner, um, heat and cool controls on the right side there with uh, some fan controls as well. And then you'll notice some visor controls and light switches and map lights are all going to be at their fingertips as well. Um, additionally, these captain's chairs are heated and cool. So you have heated and cool seats. And um, let's see. I think that covers just about most of what I was wanting to cover on the King Air. Um, let's see, let me just double check something here. Oh, uh, new for 2023 also, um, the wiper systems on these uh, has automatic wiper blades. So if it senses that you're getting any kind of water, uh, auto rain sensing, the wipers will automatically come on. Um, same thing with the headlights. at, at dark conditions and no vehicles coming at you that auto bright with that silver light um, the silver star headlamps uh, the front front shocks are coney they're auto they're tuned to this to the uh, weight of, for the coach bill steen on the rear and yeah i think that i covered most of the king air that i wanted to cover today um, again my name is grant russell i'm happy to help you with any other questions you might have on this particular coach, any other coach we have in stock, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, hopefully uh, my email is being displayed right now at the bottom of the screen there, as well as my cell phone number. You can reach me at grussell at transwest.com or my cell phone at 720-539-4711. It is almost the 4th of July, so happy 4th of July, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. I'm out.